Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And we have a very unexpected thing that is about to happen inside of FIFA 22 today. That is Icon Swaps is coming today. It is here on a Wednesday. We have this loading screen that EA has released. We have more packs that have been added to the code. And of course, the Icon Swaps token has been into, added into the code as well. So Icon Swaps is coming today on a Wednesday, which I think is the last thing that anybody ever expected. We were expecting yesterday on Monday or on a Friday, this upcoming weekend, but EA Sports is saying, nope, we're putting it out on a Wednesday, which technically this is great timing because it feels like there's not a lot to do and this versus promo is not very good. So I don't think many people are gonna complain about Icon Swaps being right now. It's just a little bit of a surprise. So I wanna take a look at Icon Swaps again, what we know, the leaks of course, and then also what is confirmed to be coming today. And I also wanna take a look at this market because I really do think that the market's going to be affected by this loading screen. It already has been been affected by it. There have, there have been some prices that are dropping, and I think that's going to continue into today as well. As we have the next generation player items, right? That Mbappe pack with Teo Hernandez, Pulisic, and all those next generation player items. I've got mine right here. We're going to open it uh, in this video at some point as well when we talk about actually some more issues that happened with that. But if you're excited for Icon Swaps today, make sure to hit a thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you are new around here. But let's take a look at everybody's number one priority for today, and that is Icon Swaps. Now again, this is the loading screen that we just looked at. They added the card design to the code. Um, and yeah, it's Icon Swaps is here, man. I'm, I'm surprised. I think everybody is surprised. But these again are the leaks, right? These are the leaked rewards for Icon Swaps and the amount of tokens. Now you may be wondering, Nate, why didn't we see like the 80, the 81 and 82 and 83 times 25 packs added to the code yet? How can Icon Swaps be dropping if it hasn't been? But just a couple hours ago as well, they added those packs to the code. They actually added a lot of stuff into, into the code. 82 times 25, 81 times 25, the 85 times 10, and an 85 times 3, along with a Prime Gaming exclusive pack. Uh, the next Amazon Prime Gaming pack is going to be released. That has been added to the code as well. So some big packs that they added. Uh, now, again, as we take a look at this, What's your, your best route going to be today when icon swaps drop? Well, usually how they do it, and I'm not saying this is how it's going to be. This is going to be like the number one thing that we're curious about today on this game is how they drop the tokens, right? Usually in icon swaps, they kind of put it into two subsections. You have icon swaps is released, all the rewards are released, but for the tokens, you can only grind like the first nine of them in like the first, what is it, like 30 day time frame, and then... In the next 30 days, they reset the requirements and you complete the second half of the objectives to get totally your, your 18 total tokens. I think it looks like it's going to be 18 total tokens based off of the rewards going up to 17. So that's the same as last year. That's going to be the biggest question. Are they following like the exact same protocol as they did last year with nine tokens released today? Or are they going to wait and, you know... Uh, or are they going to find something else and do it differently? That's the biggest question for today. So for a lot of these icons and a lot of these packs that are above nine tokens, I mean, you're going to have people that are opening these packs, like the 81, 82, and 83 times 25. People are going to be able to get those icon swap tokens within the first 24 hours. And even the first couple days that icon swaps is released, that's going to impact the market as well in terms of these foot versus ice cards that are in packs until Friday. So regardless of that, we'll talk about that a little more when we get into the market side of things. These are the expected rewards for today. And again, some of the objectives leaks that we have are the Brazil squad, the Argentinian squad, silver squad, air divisies. So right now I believe like air divisie silvers, Argentinian and Brazilian silvers, because people try to combine some of these like in squad battles, they'll try to buy a team of all Brazilian silvers uh, or like you know, some sort of combination or, or air divisi silver so they can get two um, icon swap tokens done at the same time. Now, there were also there will also be tokens that will be um, completed through friendlies, right? And I think those are going to be most likely top five leagues, right? Usually League One, Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga, and the Serie A. You have to have a couple untradeable or first owner players, build a squad of 11 or something like that and play some games in uh, a foot friendly. And that should be the other portion 
of the objectives that get dropped today on this game. Now, of course, they have added the car design into the code as well. This one right here, the icon swaps car design. And funnily enough, it is actually searchable on the transfer market. We haven't had the, the foot versus car design has not been added into the search yet, but icon swaps items, even though they won't be on the market, they've been added to the search, even though we still haven't had the versus ice or fire cards yet, which is still crazy to me. So GG's EA uh, putting that in there already. So it's confirmed boys, icon swaps is here. Now, now today, of course, day one, everybody's gonna be rushing out and everybody's gonna be getting on icon swaps, getting into the objective tab. Now, honestly, I don't think they're gonna put icon swaps inside of the objective tab. I think it's gonna have to show up under milestones because again, you can see here 44 days left, like the milestones tab, there's no, there's, it's not tied to the season's time frame at all, right? And the season ends in eight days. Season two resets next week. So I think eight days is too short of a period for EA to put icon swaps out. I think it's going to be under the milestones tab. So just, you know, if you can't find it later today when it's released, check under here because I think it should be um, inside of here. But this is where everybody's going to be living for the next two, two days, especially as we head into this whatever next promo is coming on Friday. Um... There's really not a lot to do in this game right now, and I think people are going to grind swaps. Now, how does that affect the market, right? The reason why a lot of people see, and we've seen it in the past, market drops with a icon swaps release on this game is because most people sell their teams, and especially I think this is going to happen this year. This, the loading screen came out um, later into the evening, right, for when most of you guys uh, are awake. Like a lot of you guys are probably waking up and seeing the news about icon swaps, or you saw it late last night. Um, depending on when you're watching this video and where you're from, of course. Um, but the market has actually started to dip a decent amount, especially on the promo cards that are in packs. Now, why would the market drop, right? The market's going to drop in some areas, and people are going to sell some cards in uh, a lot of areas, in my opinion, because, number one, these foot versus ice cards that are in packs until Friday, people are going to get the 81, 82, and 83 times 25 packs done today. They're going to be able to get those tokens done pretty fast and open these packs if they want to, um, even before Friday when they go out of packs. So whether you decide to save those packs for whatever promo is next, these cards are going to get supplied a little bit um, through those packs untradeable, right? The 80, the times 25 packs are all untradeable, but still packing these cards, people might get them and then some tradable versions could be sold. Um, so that is one thing you have to worry about a little bit. So I think that's why you're seeing like Rashford's 440K at the moment. That is down uh, for sure from what his price was earlier. Uh, Valverde is down. Correa is down. Adama was like 250,000. I sold three or four Adamas at 260K yesterday. And I believe right now he's like 220 uh, on the market for his, yeah, for this version, the ice version so these cards are down that makes a little bit of sense i think the whole rest of the market is going to slide down in price as well i really do think that it is today boys because most people again are going to be selling some of their their players that they have in their teams and their squads that they're grinding for weekend league and qualification and stuff like that there's going to be people that sell those cards today just so they can go out and do the icon swaps because we usually do see a dip in the market not a huge crash but just more so of a dip because people their focus is not on division rivals and qualifying for weekend league and um it's more on the friendlies and the squad battles and getting those swap tokens done especially right now when there's not a ton to do on this game i really think that's going to be like one of the main focuses of people today so they're going to wake up people are going to get on this game maybe sell a few cards from their team go out play icon swaps, get as many tokens as they can done. Then they'll start to think about division rivals um, and especially weekend league qualification later on after rewards probably tomorrow and into Friday. But I, I do think you're going to see some people sell cards. I also think you're going to see um, a lot of trading groups and uh, there's going to be a lot of people advising to sell right now. I'm actually getting some out of some of the cards that I have um, that I was trying to sell. So, you know, I bought this Rodrigo on stream yesterday at 303. I was hoping to get like 330 plus, but I'm taking the coins at 324 just because I want to get out of that card. I'm selling some of my other Claude Maurice uh, items. I bought some Tonalis in the low 40s. You know, I'm, I'm selling those just to get out of them. I bought Tomori's 
at like 110, 112, he is up. I'm kind of getting out of that card. Uh, these Claude Maurice's that are selling at 40, 41K or 44 here, um, I bought those at like 37. So I just think that there's gonna be some panic selling today on this market because again, all of the demand is gonna be in the gameplay on the objective side of things. And that's why you see like these silvers up in price. How much are Brazilian silvers right now? I really wanna see how much these are. I'm sure they're up in price. Brazilian silvers are almost 2,000 coins a piece at like 1,500. That's higher than they were earlier. Yeah, 1,500 coins a piece for Brazilian silvers. People are running out and buying these cards so that they have the cards ready to go when Icon Swaps comes out uh, today. This is probably gonna go a little bit higher. A lot of people have invested in this as well, so be very careful. There might be some overinvestment, but this is where all the demand is going to be today so that's i think going to be the way of the game today a lot of people are going to sell some cards from their team whether it's investments or whether it is cards that are in their team because they're going to focus on the objectives now there's going to be great ways to trade right we know some of the leaked icons that are uh, shouted out as supposed to be an icon swaps like wayne rooney wayne rooney's mid card he is literally going to be unattainable this this 88 rated wayne rooney is going to be unattainable through icon swaps today because if only nine tokens are released this card i think requires what was it according to the leak uh mid rooney is 17 tokens according to the leak right if that is actually the case today nobody's going to be able to get this card uh nobody's going to be able to get mid desai or baby del piero yes even though these cards are technically in icon swaps they are down so much and there's been so much panic selling on these cards 600k for mid del piero it's crazy uh, I would keep an eye on the icon market today. I would keep an eye on your out of pack special cards that are being panic sold, right? I was just looking at that Phil Foden. I was looking at the, the Rodrigo card, right? These meta cards that people are using, Fred, um, you know, just very meta and popular out of pack special cards that just get dropped so much in price because people are selling some cards on their teams or they're panic selling because they fear that the market's gonna drop more. That is 100% where I would be on the market today because there's going to be still some fluctuations and some swings like this rashford was be like 500 000 coins earlier now he's down 441 which is kind of crazy this looks like right here this is an investor that's selling look all these are zero games played in the current club they're all listed like at the exact same time how many rashfords do we have to like 470 or 480 uh, there's 460 and there's a 449 overnight. So this is like somebody panic selling their rash fridge right here and driving the price lower. We're going to see a lot of this today. I think really the, the price drops are going to be motivated by people that are panic selling investments um, and, and selling their teams because they're going to go, you know, get cards to do objectives. So that's kind of the name of the game today with icon swaps. I'm going to be trading out of pack special cards, the freeze items, just basically where I see the biggest drop offs on the market. Um, especially icons too. That'll be a great, great place to trade today. Now, some people might be asking, will we see prime icons in packs today? Um, I don't know if we're gonna see primes. I feel like that's more of a, I feel like they wanna drop prime icons on the market on like the weekend when there's packs being opened and like that's kind of the vibe of the, of the, the weekend, right? Is opening packs and stuff. We could get prime icons today. Everything is here. Everything is ready. Obviously, the players are loaded in. The player assets are loaded in. So it's it's just a matter of time. But I feel like they're not going to do that until they're focusing on selling packs for a promo. And I think that might be Friday. So small chance today, but more so of a chance on the weekend, I would imagine, for the prime icons to be uh, released in the game as well. If they did that today on a Wednesday, uh, that would honestly be really, really crazy. So... Uh, other things that are going to be happening today. Oh, I talked about this next gen star players. If you guys did not see this, we were talking about this in a couple days prior, and I'm actually going to open my next gen player pack right now. These next generation players are taking the game by storm at the moment because everybody is getting them for free. You know, these actually might be very useful in uh, icon swaps, depending on basically from here, you have all of the top five leagues represented. Uh, you do, you have every single, do you have Syria? Yeah, we have every single top five league represented from these six special cards, two Premier League, and then one from each of the other leagues. So this is literally helping people do icon swaps um, for the friendlies that I think will come out today, objectives for the swaps requirement. Uh, but EA even messed this up, right? Uh, evidently, they um, had an issue with this pack because the Mbappe card was getting released as a striker and it was it should be a left wing should be a left wing. This Mbappe, by the way, has four-star skills and a three-star weak foot, which is a massive L. Like, if you look at these cards, so many of them are downvoted. The card design looks absolutely sick. 
Um, but you know, it just, these cards aren't super duper usable. Like we talked about in the video earlier this week, they're not super, du super duper usual usable cards. I can't speak. Um, but I'm really hoping for a tail Hernandez because that would fit the team. And I'm going to rip mine open right now, um, and see who we get because everybody's getting these. These are like preview packs. Go French. Oh, Phil Foden. All right. I can't complain. Phil Foden is not bad. It's an 85 rated center attack in mid, uh, prem. I'll take it, right? That's not bad. That's that's literally like the third best choice. Second or third best choice in my opinion. So I know he's got the four-star skills, three-star weak foot, but I will take Phil Foden. It's almost as good as uh, Teo Hernandez. And we move, right? We move because that at least is a free card that we are adding to the club. But everybody's getting those today. Um, and EA did mess up the Mbappe item. You will not find those on the market, but good luck if you're opening yours. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, what you got from that now other things we're going to see today team of the week 13 team of the week 13 is expected to be coming out today it's a wednesday right it's a team of the week day some people have got mbappe in their predictions for this team of the week uh, barella is an another name a tall courtois rudiger uh, is another one let's go to foothead really fast team of the week 13 prediction they've got courtois barella telemans at all in there as well. I don't see any Mbappe, so I'm not sure about an Mbappe team of the week. Honestly, if this is <laughs> this looks like a really bad team of the week, so that doesn't look super duper hype for today. We do have one small leak, I guess I would like to mention. Uh, this was leaked by Mitch. Apparently, Alfonso Davies has won the Bundesliga Player of the Month, and this could be his SBC card that it would be released tomorrow. So Thursday. We'll talk about this a little bit more in tomorrow's video, um, but Alfonso Davies could be getting an SBC, and I think it'd be coming out on Thursday. That's why if you look at the popular page on Footbin, this, um, the Rule Breakers Davies is down bad, 165K because people are panicking because of this player of the month, which this card, if this, this are realistic stats, not confirmed, but realistic ones, this card would be absolutely mental, absolutely mental uh, in game. That's a left back that you can ride for like, months to come especially if you have the Sule item you know Bayern Munich links you can easily put them uh, in like a little 451 Sane uh, team of the group stage was a card that shot up in price yesterday for a quick minute um, he's up like 10k right now with the links uh, to that card but even as I'm looking across this team of players like Bruno Fernandez is down 20 30,000 coins Lewandowski is down Chiesa is a bit cheaper than normal uh, you're, you're seeing some prices across the market you know, people are selling a few cards ahead of icon swaps today, and I think it's going to, wow, 532 for Holland, that's pretty low. Rudiger 295, team of the week shouts, that's pretty low. People are going to be getting rid of some of the stuff from, that they have in their teams um, because they're going to be going on trade for icon swaps. So I think that's kind of like the vibe of the day. Now, I know we're talking about icon swaps a lot and all that's coming out today, but one thing to keep another eye out for would be another loading screen because there could potentially be another loading screen today for the winter wonderland i think is the name of what promo we might be getting next i haven't really checked in on the leaks that much but the winter wonderland promo is uh supposedly something that might be dropping today via a loading screen the promo on friday of course but we might get a loading screen today so this Wednesday just went from just like a normal kind of Wednesday with team of the week and maybe kind of a boring day in FIFA uh, to something crazy. So we will have to see how crazy it is today. But again, the focus is going to be on icon swaps and it's icon swaps is finally here. So some of your cheap cards from the top five leagues as well, you know, some of your cheap beasts, if you will, people might be going out and buying some of these cards up. So, you know, I, I even think about like a, um, like the road to the knockouts Diata for a league one side people might be going out and buying some of these cheaper players uh to finish out their squads to use some meta items um in the icon swaps promo so keep an eye on this sort of the market as well um there's going to be a lot of movement as people are all about the icon swaps today on this game so that's the video for today let me know down in the comments if you're excited for icon swaps even though it's also like not hype because we know the stuff that's available but if you're grinding the packs or whatever you think your best choice is going to be let me know down in the comments below of course give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel if you are new it's going to be a crazy wednesday and we are here for it so it's been nathan photo i will catch you guys later peace out <laughs>